Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day again everyone Today we will be learning about quadratic inequalities So you will see here the symbols that we use for quadratic inequalities Let me just write them down properly So for equalities of course Quadratic equality our previous topic we use the equal sign Okay, But for the quadratic inequalities What we use here is the symbols that shows inequality Wherein the items are actually in balance See we have the symbol for the greater sign uh, Greater than Then we have the less than We have the greater than or equal And then we have the less than or equal Okay. So if you're familiar with these things It just clearly states that For example 5 is greater than 4 so wherein these things are imbalanced, they are not equal. That's why it's called inequalities. Okay. So firstly, before we go to inequalities, let's define what are equalities. Okay. So um, quadratic equalities are like this one. Um, let, uh, let's try to understand it like this. Or equalities. Okay, algebraic equalities. Say we have x plus five is equals to um seven. Okay. So, in this given, there's only one and only one solution. Sabihin, isa lang yung sagot dito. Okay? So, if um, if we will try to solve for what's the answer here, we try to solve for the value of x. So, when you're solving for x, you leave your x alone. Okay? And the answer is just simply 2. Meaning, the only um, solution that will satisfy this equation will only be the value of 2. Meaning, if x is equals to 2 and your equation is x plus 5 is equals to 7, by substitution, what would happen here would be 2 plus 5 is equals to 7 and therefore 7 is equal to 7. So, there's only one and only one solution for this um, equation. Okay? So, that's the problem about inequal uh, equalities. If you get another value that does not satisfy your equation, Therefore, you're incorrect already. And most likely, in when it comes to quadratic inequalities, there are only one or two answers. But not more than three. But when it comes to inequalities, more than three magiging sagot mo. Okay? So, let's start discussing what are inequalities. Okay? So first, is, um, let's have this example. Um, x plus 2 is greater than 4. Okay? So in x plus 2 greater than 4, what we need to do here is we need to find values for x that will satisfy our inequality. Meaning, if you replace x, substitute x with that value, you will satisfy this greater than 4. Okay. For example, if x is equals to 1, okay. therefore, and your x plus 2 is greater than 4, therefore what would happen here would be 1 plus 2 is greater than 4 and 3 is greater than 4. If this does not satisfy your equation, so syempre, 3 is not greater than 4, right? It's less than 4. Therefore, this is incorrect. Therefore, this first solution is incorrect. Okay? So maybe let's try, um, say, if x is equals to 7. And your equation is still x plus 2 is greater than 4. Okay? Let me fix this. Greater than 4. Okay, so what would happen is 7 sub by substitution, yan. this is your equation. And then of course, um, 7 plus 2 is 9, greater than 4. 9 is definitely greater than 4, therefore your solution is correct. That is one of the solutions. Now let's try another solu possible solution. Say if x is equal to um, 9. Okay, and let's give multiple solutions. x is equal to 10. And your equation is, of course, x plus 2 is greater than 4. Substitution tayo, okay? So this is 9 plus 2 is greater than 4. And we have 10 plus 2 is greater than 4. Okay? So 9 plus 2 is 11. Definitely greater than 4, correct? This is 12 greater than 4. Yes, definitely. Therefore, you have two possible solutions again, which is of course, meron tayong una, yan, 10, and 7, okay? So, inequality is the good thing about this one, is if you have many, uh, if, if you try multiples, uh, multiple um, possible solutions by trial and error, you could end up with multiple solutions, okay? 
So inequality is the answer is actually um, at most, okay, at most greater than one, okay. It's always greater than one, okay. But it depends on the equation, po, okay. So yeah, um, I know, no, not at most, at least me is a pala, okay. At least me is a solution, lagi. okay. So that's uh, that's inequality, po, okay. So now, how do we actually solve for ano, what are all the possible solutions? Okay, because there is a means of solving for all the possible solutions, and that means one of the possible means is by solving using factoring. Okay, and um, we just need to plot. We need to plot the given in the Cartesian plane. Okay, so we will just combine the two methods that is um, indicated in the book. Okay. So, firstly, we need to plot, and at the same time, we need to factor out, okay? So, say we, we have this still given. Okay, so we have this given. What we need to do is we need to first plot. Kasi in this given, hindi na siya kayang factor out, okay? So, again, what we need to do is we will factor out, and we will plot, Okay? We will factor out and plot. So, let's have this given. X plus 2 is greater than 4. Now, on this given, it cannot be factored anymore. Okay? So, what we need to do now is we just need to plot. Okay? So, we have this given. First, the first thing that we need to do is you need to solve for X. So, that is our step number 1. Solve for X. Okay? We solve for x as is, meaning if we have x plus 2 is greater than 4, transpose lang everything that is beside x using the same rules of transposition, then we have 2. So we need to plot positive 2, but where do we need to plot positive 2? We will plot positive 2 on the Cartesian plane, and specifically on the x-axis lang, or we can just create a number line. Okay, so let's create a number line. We need to plot ne um, positive 2. So this is our center. So that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I'm just numbering them, okay? Okay. So having this, po, having this um, number line, what you need to do is you just need to locate where is 2. You don't care about the uh, greater than yet. You just need to locate 2. So if you're locating 2, uh, we have the following conditions. Just a note. If it is greater than or less than, your symbol that you will use is a hollow point. If it is greater than or equal, less than or equal, your symbol will be a solid point. Okay. Later on, I will discuss why. So since we are having a greater than, so we need a hollow point. So, on, on, on positive 2, you just place a hollow point. Next. Let's have another note. If it is greater than or greater than or um, equal, okay, shade going to the right. And if it is less than and less than or equal, you shade going to the left. So, ito, since this is greater than, you shade going to the right. So, shading natin is either you will just simply create a line here above or you will just simply shade the line itself. But I would suggest na line above na lang, okay? Now, the thing about this one is it just simply means that everything that is um, part or bounded by the shaded line is included in the solution. Meaning, if I will pick this one, if I pick 3, it's a solution, meaning sagot siya dun. What do I mean by that? This would be x plus 2 is greater than 4 and your x is equals to 3. Okay? So this would just simply mean I will have 3 plus 2 greater than 4 and that is just equals to 5 is greater than 4 which is correct. Tama? So if we pick 4 is correct, we pick 5 is correct, we pick 6 is correct and anything above positive 6 is included in the solution. But the thing about this one is why is it a hollow point? Why is it a hollow point? Okay? It's a hollow point because 2 is not part of the solution. Why? Let's try. 
So we will have x is equals to 2. x plus 2 is greater than 4. Let's try to solve. Um, 2 plus 2 is greater than 4. And we have 4 is greater than 4. Now my question is, is 4 greater than 4? Not. No, it's not. So if 4 is not greater than 4, therefore this is not a solution. That's why we are using a solid, a hollow point because it indicates that that point is not included in the solution. Okay? If we will use a solid point that is included in the solution. Okay? So let's try another one. Say we have x plus x squared plus um, 2x plus um, no, no, no. x squared plus 3x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 7. Okay. Uh, wait, lang, wait, lang, wait, lang. It's not. Yeah, okay, let's use 7. Okay. So, what we need to do here is we need to factor kasi it's factorable na. Okay. So, um, assuming na alam yun yung factory, the given will just simply be x plus 2 x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 7. So, what you need to do here now is you just simply have to separate them. So, magiging dalawa yung solutions nyo. x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 7 and x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 7. Okay? And solve for x as is. x is greater than or equal to 7 minus 2 and x is greater than or equal to um, 5. So then again, the same rule sa kabila. x is wait lang for a while. x is greater than or equal to 7 minus 1 and x is greater than or equal to 6. Okay? So what do we need to do now is we just simply have to um, locate the following points, these two points, okay? On our, wait lang, it's not becoming a circle. On our number line. So let's create another number line. Sorry. Create another number line. And let's just simply plot 5 and 6, okay? So let's just put 0 here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we have 5 here. That is greater than or equal, so we will use a solid point. And then we have 6, which is also another solid point. Okay? So the next one, since we have two points here, we need to locate first. Let me change the color pala. We need to locate, okay, we need to locate all the possible solutions, okay, and we can check the possible solutions if and only if we will shade, okay, so let's try to shade now. Since itong una na to, this one, okay, it says that we need to go higher kasi greater than siya, go to the right, so ito to the right. Next one, we need 6, and 6 is greater than, so we need to go to the right as well. So let's use the other color then. Yeah. Okay, wait long. let me change the position of that. Yeah, para mas kita niya. Yeah. So papunta siya dyan. okay? Now the question here is, since you have two lines here, the solutions is just simply the intersection of the lines, or kung saan sila naglapat parehas. Since sila ay naglapat parehas dito lang sa 6 pataas at not sa 5, dito hindi siya kasama, okay? Kung saan sila naglapat, therefore those are your solutions. So we have two cases here. The first case is kapag isa lang yung line mo, it just simply means that all the solutions is within the line. But if you have two lines, all the solutions is just simply within the intersection of the lines. Ibig sabihin, check nyo yung ano, for example yung 4. Yung 4 ba, natamaan siya nung line? Iba hindi, malayo. Okay? How about yung, say, let's check 5. Yung 5 ba, tinamaan nung line? Tinamaan siya nung pula, pero nadagpasan pa siya nung green? Hindi. So, you have to check. Tumama ba siya doon? Tumama lang siya sa pula. Kasama siya sa pula. How about this one? Tumama siya sa dalawa? Yes. This one? Tumama siya sa dalawa? Yes. How about this one? Tumama? Hindi. Therefore, it's not a solution. So, it will only be a solution if we try to check by using a vertical line if it intersects the two given shading. So, yan yung shading natin, yung red and then the green. Okay? So, so, since the 8 is a solution, let's try to check. So, x squared, I'm sorry, x is equals to 8 
and you have your, your given x squared plus 3x plus 2 is greater than 7 therefore we will have um, 8 squared plus 3x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 7 solving that you will have you will have 8 squared plus 3 times 8 plus 2 so the answer is 90 and is 90 greater than or equal to 7 yes so if it's greater than or equal to 7 therefore your solution is correct okay so we have only two cases here okay either you do not factor or you factor but then again the solutions will always be part of the shaded line okay i do hope you got that let's uh, let's just have some other examples um later on and thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh